Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Doctor Who toy review. Today I'll be looking at something uh, a bit different, which is the uh, brand new Doctor Who character build in uh, TARDIS mini set. So I got this from Toy Master for £9.99 and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll show you quickly through the box. Um, standard box really. It's got a picture of them. It's got a picture of the Doctor saying the actual size. Um, includes the Eleventh Doctor and Amy Pond. And on that side, it's got a picture of them. That side, we just got compatible, constructed, and collectible. And then we got some information and a picture of the two. So that's it, really. And it does inside the box come with an instruction manual on how to build the TARDIS and it comes with some stickers for the TARDIS um, and some spare ones so that's the box and the instructions put it back in okay and the actual figures themselves I'm going to have to get my camera a bit over this. Now, I think we'll take a look at the Doctor first. So, I'm going to move the Doctor in a minute. This is the Doctor in Lego form. Well, it's not Lego, but it's close enough. In, in my point, it's actually better than Lego, but that's just my opinion. So, it's brilliant it's it actually is really good detail for this size scale figure um now i'll just talk to you through it um he does have some articulation the head does do a 360 um the arms do 360 the hands do do a 360 and the legs go back and forth So it does have quite a lot of articulation, well, standard articulation for this. Um, now, this is him in his red burgundy bow tie. Just show you there. It does resemble Matt Smith um, in some way or form. Um, he's obviously got his toy jacket on. And he's got his trousers and his shoes. And he does come with a sonic screwdriver, which is quite tiny. It's not painted, it's just one grey piece. Um, I would like it if they painted it, but it doesn't really matter. And it is removable from his hands, I just, I've always got a holding in his hands. Now, because it's constructible and compatible, etc., it can be took apart so the doctor's head can come off. Um, and it can be removed from that bit, so. You can have them in bits. And his hands do pop out, but um, they are quite difficult to get back in sometimes. And I did snap one with my normal Lego figure, so I'm not going to pull these out. Um, so yeah, you can mix and match him with other figures. And it's just a brilliant version of the Doctor. And it's really, really tiny. You can fit him in your pocket. Well, of course you can fit him in his pocket, but... I mean, it's tinier than expected. So, that's the Doctor. 10 out of 10. Um, I would definitely... This is one reason for getting the set. But if you don't want to pay £10, then you can try and get them for £2 in the single packs when they come out, whenever they do come out. Um, because if you like me and you've been following the information of the single packs online, um, you will discover that they have been delayed and they have been... No signs of them. There's been people saying that they have 
popped up somewhere, but um, there's been no evidence of pictures, so um, whenever they do come out, you can get in, but obviously you don't know which one you're going to get, so to get your chance of getting this one, I would buy to set. So, that's a lot there, and that's the same. Now, the head does resem resemble Amy, it's just, it doesn't look like her in some angles. I mean, some angles it does look like her, some it doesn't. Um, obviously she's wearing a costume from Victory the Daleks, like the normal 5 inch character figures. Um, now, her articulation, she can do 360 at the head, it, her arms can do 360 but her hair does get in the way. Hands, and this bit comes off, oh god, uh, hit the TARDIS. And you can remove the skirt, so she's wearing her shoes, skirt, jacket, red top. And a lot of people, well, I say a lot of people, some people, are annoyed with that black thing, oh god that black thing between your neck um and saying what the hell is it well the joints actually sprayed black but um it's her black jacket going in front of her head now it's meant to do that because if you look on the doctor he's got brown a bit of his jacket in front of the neck and that bit sprayed brown so it's meant to happen and Amy is brilliant. She can travel through time and space with the Doctor. Um, and I give her a 10 out of 10. So, so next, last up is the TARDIS. Um, now this is the main reason of the set really. Now, before I say anything, do excuse my bad sticker-ing. I did go wrong quite a few times. If you see it there, it's got a wonky place. Um, if you look around here, that window's just terrible. I had to re-stick a sticker over it because I couldn't peel it off. Um, that window's okay. That's probably the best sign of the police box. Um, look around there. <laughs> that police call sign is quite terrible. Um, go back around it, terrible again on the end. The windows aren't that bad here and there. And then if we go there, got a wonky window, got a bit of police books. And that's a bit wonky. So, do excuse my bad stickering. Um, now, before I say anything, the doors do open inwards and outwards. If I can get it there. Now, some people say, can't see inside, it's too dark. Um, that... There's a black, grey piece on the floor, but you can't really see it. There you go. Um, the, it's meant to stop the doors from going inwards. Um, that's only if you don't push it down too far. But I think that's meant to be the floor, because it goes into the card at the back, which you can't really see. There you go. Because it is really dark in there. So, that's that. Um, it's quite simple to build, really. It's just a standard police box. I will be getting another one and customising it into a classic TARDIS one when I get the lemon doctor set as well. Um, so, we've got the lamp on top. That hasn't got a sticker on. Um, St. John Ambulance logo. And then you've got all the normal information here. No, it ain't gonna go and focus, it's too small. Um, and there ain't that much to say. It is really, really good though. It's quite cool. I mean, you can display it with the windows open. Do windows doors. And you can put a figure inside. So there's the doctor standing inside, and you can close the doors. You get doors closed, stop this inside. And then you can open them again. If you can open them. There you go. So, the TARDIS is brilliant. It's 10 out of 10. And, after buying this pack, you get the Doctor, Amy and TARDIS. 
10 out of 10 for the entire set. And you now have the time traveling crew, apart from Rory. Um, but he's coming out in the TARDIS play set along with River Song and another one of these two. So, and the TARDIS comes out in September, by the way. Um, thanks for watching this review. Um, definitely advise you to get this if you can get it. And I definitely, 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 definitely highly recommend that you get the single packs when they come out. Um, I will be reviewing the single packs. Obviously, they won't be that long because there's not much to say about them. And um, uh, we'll be collecting every single wave and most of the sets. So, thanks for watching this review. And join me next time when I should be reviewing the Genesis Dalek set. Um, that'll probably be up on Sunday because I think I'm going to get it Saturday in the post. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>